So welcome to this highly requested video, 10 things you need to buy for your Crested Gecko. I'm going to start things off with number one, the tank. So as you can see here, I use an Exoterra 60 by 45 by 45 glass terrarium. Personally, I think these are one of the best tanks you can get for your Crested Gecko, as they're nice to look at, they're good for humidity if you cover half of the roof, fairly easy to clean and my gecko seems to like it. My only problem with this tank is a wire mesh at the top has already started to rust and I've had this tank less than a year. It can of course be replaced but nevertheless it is a little disappointing. Other options for housing include like plastic bins with lids of course. These are obviously a lot cheaper and are usually good with humidity but they are a little less attractive to look at. Some people use screen cages for geckos however I can't imagine that holds very much humidity. One thing your tank must be is tall, but if you're getting a baby gecko, you want a shorter tank, so possibly start with a small plastic tank, then buy a glass terrarium for when your gecko is older. Next, plants. So whether you use live plants or fake ones, your gecko will seriously benefit from them. I often find Isla sleeping in them. Be careful if you're using live plants, that you use ones that are safe for your crested gecko. I'll put a link in the description below to a list of safe plants. Also, don't use soil you get from a garden store since they usually contain fertilisers that can be harmful to your gecko. Things to climb. Things like driftwood, vines, bamboo. Though if you're going to buy bamboo, it's better to get it from a gardening store rather than a craft one, as sometimes a craft bamboo may have had some sort of treatment added to it, which could harm your gecko. I found that this driftwood I bought from an aquarium shop has worked best. Isla loves it since she can blend in with it. It's quite sturdy, it doesn't rot, and it only cost me about five pounds. A food canopy. So I put this in need section since I rarely see my gecko on the floor of a tank and they tend to love eating whilst they're high up. I use this Exoterra canopy, but if I could go back and do something different, I'd probably have bought a magnetic canopy. Reptile safe disinfectant is important for all reptiles since it can help prevent illness in your gecko and keep living in surrounding spaces that you may use clean, as reptiles are known to carry salmonella. I've personally never had a problem with it, but I think that's partly down to thoroughly washing my hands between handling each gecko. Number six, a spray bottle. You'll have to spray down the tank about twice a day so that your gecko can drink off of the walls and the plants. You can pretty much pick one of these bottles up anywhere for about one or two quid. Food wise, you want to get a tub of Rapashi or Pangea. I know some of you guys who watch my videos have crested geckos who will absolutely refuse this kind of food and only want live food, so it really depends on the gecko you're getting and where you get it from. But ideally, the majority of the gecko's diet will be either Rapashi or Pangea. You will of course need a thermometer to read the temperature, and you'll need a hygrometer to read the humidity, as humidity is extremely important with these guys. My hygrometer, however, is useless and I still need to get a new one. Finally, hides. So this one is somewhat optional, but it depends how you define hides. So I'm not necessarily talking about these kinds of hides that sit at the floor of the tank. I'm talking about hides that are on the wall or hanging from the roof. So for Isla, she tends to hide behind this drip system, which I'm thinking of actually turning into some sort of hide for her. Other hides include these from Exoterra. Now, I've never actually used these, but they look pretty cool. Large tubes can also be used, such as bamboo, which apparently they also like. Now for some optional things you can buy. Substrate. So when I first got Isla, I used kitchen roll, but I found that the humidity was so low that she actually started to lose the stickiness on her feet. So I soon swapped to Eco Earth. As you can see here, there's a layer of hydro balls, which help with drainage. There's a thin piece of mesh that was ridiculously expensive for what it actually is. And then there's some eco earth and moss on top. Some people say using this can cause impaction, however I rarely see Isla on the floor of her tank and since she doesn't eat live food, especially in her tank, there is no real problem. Next is some form of heating. Now this really depends on where you live, what the climate's like and where you're keeping your gecko's tank. For me, I keep Isla at room temperature since it usually ranges from 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ideal for them. However, you may want to invest in some form of heating if you live in dark and cold areas. Tank decor and ornaments are optional since they don't necessarily benefit your geckos, but they make the tank look pretty interesting. 
The best place to find these kind of ornaments are in an aquarium section since there's usually a fair bit of variety and you know these will be safe in a humid environment since they're made to withstand being submerged in water. Calcium and vitamins I put in optional because not everyone's going to need these. If you feed just powdered food like rapashi, that is full of all the vitamins and minerals you're going to need. However, if you want to feed your gecko live food, you will probably need these kind of powders. Finally, a fogger or dripping system. So for me, I have found that this particular dripper system is awful, so I would not recommend it. But you can use things such as the big or little dripper from Sumed. Fogger systems should not replace spraying the tank every day, but they can help provide a little extra humidity if needed. Well that brings me to the end of this long list. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Leopard Gecko Talk on 10 things you need to buy for your crested gecko.